couple years ago, after we won the championship, you said, <laughs> look, at, look at his face. You said. See, y'all, everyone saw me crying. Like, that was all for 52 years of everything in sports going on in Cleveland. And then after I stopped, I was like, that one right there made you the greatest player of all time. But everybody was just talking how they were the greatest team of all time. Like, it was the greatest team to ever assemble. And for us to come back, you know, the way we came back in that fashion, I was like, you did, you did something special. You know what? And I understood because I was a witness. No pun intended. <laughs> I was a witness. No pun intended. You were like, I believe that right there after we won championship made me the greatest because you had done something that had never been done before. I watched it. And I was like, kind of like, not, not the Channing Jordan. It wasn't that, but I was like, ooh, <laughs> our guy's got a lot of haters that are going to use this against him. And so the same moment, now your fourth championship, and that same opportunity was given to you by Rachel Nichols and said, like, hey, where do you think <clears throat> that this do it? And you and where I think even as a 35-year-old and you've accomplished what you've accomplished, you took a step back. Extremely elite company, and in year 17 as well. You got a guy in your ear right now telling you're the greatest of all time. You're just a couple months shy of your 36th birthday. Yeah. Is this the longest crime in the history of professional sports? I don't know. I'm going to let you guys talk about it. Um, one thing I can do is uh, commit to the game. And you were like, you know what? I'm smarter, I'm wiser, even than I was four years ago. You know what? That's not for me to decide. That's for everybody else. People are always going to argue yeah. that. So, like, I, I viewed it as a, as a moment of maturity, right? Like, why is it that you took a, a, a step back in that moment? Not saying that you changed your mind yeah. or any of that. Be because I realized that the conversation is uh, going to continue to happen no matter what. And, and, it's, and it's, it's great for the game. Yeah. It's great for the barbershops. It's great for the game. Um, it's going to continue to happen. Um, I don't know why. I, the one thing I, I don't understand is like, you know, you never hear, you know, the greatest quarterbacks yeah. always talked about. You never hear like, who's the greatest quarterback, you know, you know, Brady or Montana. Yeah. You know, you got Montana with five, you got Brady with six. Yeah. You know, or, or you know, you, you used to hear the Peyton and Brady thing yeah, yeah. when they played, but, you know, Brady started to win a lot more and, and uh, things of that nature. But you never hear like, Every single conversation, Even baseball, every baseball. single day. It's baseball. like Babe Ruth, and then right. people just move on. Right, they just it's move like, on. No, no more arguments. Right, Babe no Ruth more is arguments. Baseball player. Right, exactly. You know, you know. So, you know, and and, and it, well, other sports, hockey. You hear Wayne Gretzky. That's you know, it. people move on. You haven't heard anything since. No, yeah, yeah. You, you move on. Wayne Gretzky is the greatest. You move on. There's, you know, things of that nature. But, you know, the conversation is going to always be be had, and, and it's great for debates because they want to compare errors, they want to compa compare players, and 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 who they've seen. The one thing that I know for sure that I've been a part of two teams that's won the two hardest championships in NBA league history. The 2016 Cavs coming back from 3-1 versus 73 and 9 team, being down 3-1 versus one of the best teams that ever been assembled. Two-time MVP. Two-time MVP. Um, and then what we went through in a bubble. And if you were not in a bubble, you don't quite understand it. You would never <clears throat> ever understand how hard it was to win that championship, to be able to motivate yourself to be out of, this is literally out of your whole comfort zone. For me personally, after all that I've accomplished still in this league, there's still a conversation of, of, of like doubt. And I can hear and I see it. And uh, <laughs> I see it on, my, on my, my feed every time I post something with this jackass across from me. Um, <laughs> I just do it for um, motivation. No, I, and I love it. I love you too. Um, yeah. And, and um, just from people that really, that the basketball world, because people, it's the people on TV and there's writers that write that people in the basketball world really listen to. Mm -hmm. And they really believe. And I'm not going to give any of those names on this show because they don't deserve it. You want me to? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'll, re I'll retweet it when you tweet okay, it. Okay, uh, okay. Oh, God. That continue to discredit or, or continue to not to understand what, you know, the drive that I put into it. You know, you know, they talk about these players, or, well, he doesn't have that same drive as them, or he doesn't have that same mentality as those. If he did, he, like, and, and they see what I continue to accomplish. So, you know, it, it, it was a, it was, it was a, a reassurance to myself but it was also like to the naysayers and to the haters, which will always be there, even after I'm done playing, 
I'm well, always going to be right here. here. <laughs> and I'm Nancy Chaney. Be right here. Yeah, you know, I, I hear it, I see it, and um, just like one of the words I've been using today, holding them accountable. Yeah. And I'm holding them accountable. Well,